Hey, Nyako here. In this video, I want to show you how to use the clam generator that I created to generate clam functions to use in your breakdance website, your Elementor website, and any of the no code tools that you might have. If you use any of these no code tools or WordPress, you might be able to use this. So I'm going to demonstrate it using Elementor and breakdance. So First thing first, make sure you go to the website clamster.obstudios.io. If this is your first time, you might see something like this. So let's say this is breakdown. So if you use breakdowns, you might want to pay a bit attention to this part. So what we do want, we do want this to be 72 at a certain point. So we can say that we want it to be 72 from probably a thousand pixels. So our uh, minimum size that we really want is 360. Most people are using their mobile phones and mobile phones screen sizes are mostly 360. So using 360 is a good is a good starting point. And then our maximum width, we can say maximum width that we really do want is probably a thousand. So we are saying that as a thousand pixels, we do want something. What do we want? That is where we come to this pixel thing over here. So, right. So, over here, we do have, we are saying that our minimum font size should be what? So, we are looking for a header text. So, let's say header text, mostly want them to be a bit bigger. So, we can see that we want the minimum to be, let's say, 36 pixels, right? And then we want our maximum to also be, let's say, 72 pixels so those are the two things that we need so at 360 pixels we don't want this font size to go below 36 pixels and at a thousand pixels we don't want it to go above 72 pixels so our font size is going to be between 36 and 72 it's not going to be below 36 pixels it's not going to be above 72 pixels the reason why this is important is because it will make sure that you don't have to adjust your font size on different screen sizes. So that is what you're going to see. So after doing this, I'm not going to use a selector. So I'm just going to remove that. So when I remove a selector, the only thing that is left is font size and then the clamp function. If you are using a no code too, and you're plugging this into probably a field like how I'm going to do in breakdance. The only thing that you might need is probably from this part to this part. So you can copy that or you can copy, you can click on this copy sign to copy the whole thing. So after doing this, after copying in this clamp function, so let me click, so let me just click on this and then I'll come into breakdance. So in breakdance, what do I have to do over here? Let's say you click on your text element, your heading element, and then you go to the styling portion. And then on the font size, you want to change this one by clicking on the pixel. You want to change it to custom. So in custom, you want to paste what you copied. So when you paste it, you might not see anything because there are a few things that you do not need. You do not need the semicolon at the back. You do, you do not also need the font size over here. So you might want to remove it. So after removing, you can see that the font has adjusted. So I'm going to highlight everything, select everything and then cut it away. So you're going to see there's a difference now. So when I paste it back, you can see that the font has become a bit bigger. So that is how you copy and use it. So after that, I'm going to save it. It's saved. I'm going to come to the front and refresh it. All right. So this is what 72 looks like. At at this screen size. So what I'm going to do is click on F12. And now we are going to scale it down to see what it is going to do. So when I scale it down, consider it is what scaling down proportionally. It is not chopping off. It is not like changing sizes. It is just scaling down just like that. So that is how clamp function works and make sure that your font sizes are scaling down and that they are not breaking off and coming to the new line when it doesn't have to do that. I'm going to click on the selector and then see this. So you can see that this is 72 pixels. Even if we go to, let's say, a bigger size, 
it is still going to be what 72 pixels it's not going to go above 72 pixels by any chance because we have set it to a place that it is not going to be above that so when we go to let's say um an iphone and which is 360 uh, 390 pixels and we select this and we come let's select the selector you can see that this is 72 pixels but if we move this all the way down to let's say responsive right and then we move this 360 pixels and then we go back and we try to select you can see that this is 36 pixels and that is what we told it to do when we come back you can see that this is 36 and this is 72 so these two numbers are what are guiding our text it is not going to be above or below any of these two numbers that is why it is important if you didn't use a clamp function and you use a normal tag a normal let's say pixel what is going to happen is that you will, you will have to paste in let's say 72 save it then when you go to um you have to go to uh let's say tablet mode and then change the font size to something else and then go into the mobile mode change something to something else go into um more mobile modes and you have to also make sure that this is good and then you have to go to a different screen size and over here so you have to make sure that this is good but you really do not have to do all of this by using clamp you can achieve this in just one click you go to clampstar.obstudios.io plug in the um the sizes that you want the width and the minimum width and the maximum one that you want the pixel values and then voila you have a clamp value over here so this is how you implement it in a tool like breakdance i'm going to copy the same thing so let me copy this so let's say you're using elemental right i just demonstrate how to use it in breakdance so you're using elemental you come here you copy that and then I have Elementor here. So I'm going to go into the canvas. I'm going to go into typography. And then I'm going to remove what I already have here. So it is gone. You can see that it is gone. So over here, Elementor, the new Elementor update makes it really simple to do it now. The old, if you, have, if you are on Elementor, let's say anything um, before Elementor 3.10, you might not be able to use this feature. But if you are on Elementor 3.10, this is how you do it. You have your typography, you go to style and then you click on typography here. Over here, you want to, you might see something more like this. It will look like pixels and then you have to put your pixel value. Let's say you want 72. So you put 72 there. But if you want to use clamp, you have to change from pixel to this pencil icon. So in this pencil icon, so I want to paste in the clamp function that I copied from clampstar.ubistudio.io. So what I want to do is remove the, the backslash and then go to the front and also remove the font, the font size over there. So when you do that, you have something like this. If I remove it, you can see that the size goes down. If I paste it, so that the size come up again. It's the same thing as breakdance. There's nothing changing over here. So when I go to the front and then I refresh it, we do have something more like this. Let's make this even smaller. So you can see that nothing is changing. Nothing is changing. But when, as soon as I start shrinking down, you can see that this is scaling down proportionally. And as soon as it gets to 36 pixels, you can see that it's not scaling down anymore. Look, it just stopped. So it will stop scaling down as soon as it gets to the 36 pixels that we instructed it to be. So at this 36 pixel, your phone size is no more going to scale down. It's just going to be there and you can just shrink it down just like that. So this is how you implement it in both breakdance and um, Elemental. If you are on other tools, let's say you're on Bricks or you're on Quigley or you are on, what are the other ones? Huh. You're on Breezy, you're on DV. I haven't um, gone through any of those ones yet, but I might also have a video and see. If I check and it's any different from this, I might do the video, but if it's not different then you just have to choose custom or something like that, I might just leave it. You just have to copy and paste it there and it's going to work. So 
um i hope this was uh informative and i hope you learned something and i hope you are going to use my climate generator as i said there are more features in this as in you can save it come back and copy it later you can copy it later if you want to use it and all of those stuff you can also download it and send it to a friend if you want to do that um yeah so those are some of the things that you can use this website for um i'm really um happy that i created it it, it makes my workflow really simple and i hope it also makes your workflow your workflow not webflow your workflow also really simple um if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to this channel ob studios i'll be releasing more videos using clamps and uh, i'll be incorporating it in most of my work for my clients and also for myself uh, as usual my name is nyakon thank you for watching